Michael weighs 80 kilograms, 176. Oh, here comes the question. Has been training for almost five years. He benches two times per week with good technique and uses structure progressions to increase strength over time. Assuming he has average genetics for strength, how much should he realistically be able to bench press for a one rep max? See, this is interesting because... Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody, your home for gains and brains. And today is the 10K subscriber Q&A. We're gonna look at some questions I got on the thank you for 10,000 subs video, and we're going to answer them, if you can believe that. So I guess we'll just hop right into this here. Adam Mangione says, congrats on 10K. You're definitely one of my favorite fitness channels. Thank you, bro. Question, what is your take on the Jeff Nippard question from the Muscle IQ quiz? Basically, what is a realistic number that someone with average genetics who trains correctly for five years and weighs 176 can bench for a one rep max? The two best answers are 220 and 275. Greg seems to think it's 220. Well, if we're talking average genetics training correctly for five years and they weigh 176, maybe if they're very short like Jeff Nippert is, maybe 176. But if you're 5'9 or above, guys, and you've been training for five years and you're 176, you might still struggle with a 225 bench depending on your genetics at 176 still. Now, if you've bulked considerably and then cut back down, maybe it's closer to 275. Um, I'm going to need more context here. Let me look at this Jeff Nippard Muscle IQ quiz. Actually, let's just take this quiz right now and let me see what I get on it. All right, here we go. Are you more knowledgeable than the average person about fitness? I hope so. Level one, easy. What is the most important factor for losing fat? Uh, okay, calorie deficit. Do you need to train to muscular failure to stimulate hypertrophy? Technically, no. I'm going to say no. Is it possible to build muscle and lose fat at the same time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Technically, yes. Yeah. In a few scenarios. Who would have the hardest time achieving body recomposition? A lean, advanced trainee. Well, yeah. Which of the following supplements has the most scientific support? Who is on crack? I think creatine monohydrate. What is the most practically efficient rep range for building muscle? 6 to 15. Which muscle is not significantly activated by the exercise shown below? Anterior deltoid. Okay. Which of the following describes the eccentric phase on a bicep curl? When you lower the weight back down. Yeah. Which of the following factors contributes the most to muscle growth? Uh, mechanical tension, I would think. What does RPE stand for? Rate of perceived exertion. There we go. Let's move on to level two medium. Which rest period is better for hypertrophy? Oh, longer for sure. Which of the following would not count as a form of progressive overload? Increasing the amount of weight, increasing the number of reps, doing an additional set, increasing variation. Yeah. Muscle soreness can be useful proxy, is very important, shouldn't happen when training with good form. Um, I would say the first one. Oh, Jesus. Noel is a late beginner, early intermediate who wants to build full body strength and size with emphasis on glute development. Assuming she does multiple exercises for multiple sets per week with the glutes, how many days per week should she train her glutes to maximize? Uh, two to three. <laughs> no lifting focus on cardio. That's hilarious. Which RIR range is most likely to optimize hypertrophy? Zero to three. For an average lifter using standard technique, which of the following muscles is least activated by the back squat? Hamstrings. Is this the intermediate portion? Billy is an intermediate lifter who has been weight training for almost four years. He really wants to grow his chest. Assuming he takes most of his sets close to failure, how many sets per week should he do to give him the best gains? Uh, I would say 14. Which are the most appropriate protein recommendations for an average lifter and a caloric surplus to build muscle? These are getting big as hell. 1.5 to 1.8. Yeah, 0 0.7 to 1. That seems to be what's in the literature. Which exercise is shown in the image below? That is a Meadows row. What is the joint action shown here? 
Which one is that? AD is in there, so that's AB outer. Okay. Almost done. You're programmed to do a max effort set of four to six on the deadlift. If you put on a lifting belt, which of the following is least likely to occur? You lift more, you lift faster, you decrease core activity, you increase IAP, oh, intra-abdominal pressure, least likely to occur? Probably lift the weight faster. Michael weighs 80 kilograms, 176. Oh, here comes the question. Has been training for almost five years. He benches two times per week with good technique and uses structure progressions to increase strength over time. Assuming he has average genetics for strength, how much should he realistically be able to bench press for a one rep max? See, this is interesting because we don't know if he's bulked previously and then cut down to 176. Because if this guy has bulked before and hit like 300 before, then he's leaning out. 275 is not that unreasonable. 220, I would say, is more reasonable if he's never genuinely bulked or he's done very little baby bulks or main gaining, okay? That's more likely. So this question, I think, is devoid of necessary context, right? We don't know what his nutrition has been like this entire time. Um, I'm going to say 275. Internal cueing would be most appropriate for which exercise from a hypertrophy standpoint? This question is highly subjective. What is this? Uh, I'm going to say the back squat, but that's totally subjective. What is the average muscle fiber type composition of the solace of the calves? Well, it's got to be slow twitch, right? Now, let's just try that one. Which of the following activities has been shown to acutely reduce muscle protein synthesis? Reduce. I guess a high sugar meal, probably. Rachel is an advanced lifter who has been training for both strength and size for almost 10 years. On an AMRAP, roughly how many reps would you expect her to hit with 80% of her daily one rep max on the squat? Advanced level lifter, 80%, 7 to 10. Which component of metabolism refers to activities like bringing in the groceries and is a major factor in metabolic adaptation? Uh, that would be neat, right? Yeah, non exercise activity thermogenosis i think it's called what type of periodization is shown in the table below let's see okay so three sets eight to ten three sets six to eight oh that's daily undulating a 2020 paper from campbell at all has been called the first bodybuilding refeed study in this study one group dieted continuously and the other group used 48 hour refeeds over a seven week dieting period which of the following was a finding in the refeed group? I have no idea, bro. I haven't read that paper. Stupid science bitch couldn't even make I more smarter. Uh, better fat loss. Uh, let's just say all of the above. I don't know. Which of the following would cause muscle protein synthesis to be elevated for the longest period of time? Uh, you think more whey protein? All right, here we go. The final results. Thank you. Your muscle IQ score is 23 out of 30, 76%. The average score is 58. So I guess I'm smarter than the average bear. Uh, some of those questions, guys, I didn't really like. I think those are really subjective, some of those questions. Want to be notified when the results are live? Yeah, sure. Email me my results, Jeff. An error occurred, please try it. Well, I guess I'm not gonna get the results. So that was a, a pretty lengthy answer to your question there, Adam. Um, that question's misleading though, dude, because we don't know what he weighed the year before or the year before that, or even six months before that. Um, that's gonna depend, guys. Because if this guy very slowly itty bittied his way up to 176, again, we also don't know his height. You need way more context for that kind of answer, dude.